Are there any misconceptions that you think that really need to be overcome about the Mediterranean diet? I think uh, there is a, there's still a lot of people who don't really understand what a traditional Mediterranean diet looks like. And uh, going backwards, I think uh, to our conference, uh, one of the most memorable parts of it and it was not just the scientists, but was the fantastic food that we had at that conference. <laughs> Uh, it was really wonderful, and I know old ways, uh, and you had a lot to do, well, you had everything to do with that. <laughs> uh, that I think uh, what uh, so many Americans think about when, when they think of Mediterranean diet, it, it's meatballs and spaghetti. Uh, that's, that's not what the Mediterranean, uh, traditional Mediterranean diet was. Uh, it, uh, it, it is but one, a wonderful variety of fruits, vegetables, whole grains, that um, most of which uh, growing up, we just didn't have and didn't have that experience. I, I guess that's probably the biggest misconception about what a Mediterranean, traditional Mediterranean diet is. And, and there still is lingering I, uh, ideas in some parts that fat in the diet makes you fat. Uh, and uh, it, and of course, if you can have too much of it, uh, that's true, but it's also satisfying. And as it turns out, if you have fat, uh, especially olive oil prepared with fruits and vegetables and whole grains, that's more satisfying and it makes it easier to control our calories.